Okay, as you shop for holiday gifts this month, you got to watch out for fake clothes, fake jewelry, fake watches. Yeah, there's a lot of fakes out there. New federal data shows that those are the three counterfeit products customs agencies most this year at America's ports with a street value of hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, CBS News consumer correspondent Usher Qureshi, he found out how artificial intelligence is helping find some of those fakes before you buy them. So what this is, is a lens attachment that goes onto the camera of, say, an iPhone or an iPod, and it ends up giving an iPod super microscopic capabilities. We got to look at some technology that might be protecting you from dangerous fakes this year. I didn't realize that 100% of all the fake handbags that we sampled, they all had lead and cad cadmium paint on them. So he developed a device that takes highly magnified images of a product like a luxury purse and stores them in the cloud so sellers can spot counterfeit products in real time. So we built a whole massive data set of authentic products and counterfeit products. Mm -hmm. We taught computers how to detect those minute differences, you know, every uh, roughly about between two and four thousand different characteristics on every single image. Retailers including TikTok Shop and Goodwill now use this tech to spot fake luxury handbags, accessories and sneakers and provide a certificate of authenticity for the buyer and the seller. Then they don't have to take big risks. They know immediately. It's on demand counterfeit detection. That's it. Ultimately, can we, can we solve the problem? No. But can we try our damnedest? Absolutely, yes. It's pretty cool, but it's not just fake luxury items you need to watch out for. In our special report, we'll show you counterfeit products you'd never expect. And we'll take you on a journey from America's busiest mailroom to the headquarters of Amazon to see the behind-the-scenes battle to find the fakes before they land at your doorstep. Which leads to the question, I mean, how big of a problem is this? Betty, it's huge, an estimated $2 trillion industry. And a recent study from Michigan State University found one in seven of us was deceived into buying a counterfeit product in the last year. This past summer, a man in Miami pleaded guilty to selling counterfeit Cisco computer equipment online to buyers around the country, including schools and the military. Hmm. In all, investigators say he cheated buyers out of more than $100 million. I certainly wow. can believe that. All right. Yeah, the military can be duped. Yeah. What does that say about us. Okay, thank you. Great report. And you can catch Usher's full report on finding fakes tonight on CBS News Miami at 7. You can watch it right here on our CBS Miami app, Pluto TV, and your favorite streaming platform.